Hi guys, today I'll be taking a look at the Rapu V500 and the Kale Yellow Switches. Let's get started. The Rapu V500 was an entry-level TKL mechanical keyboard aimed at budget gamers. It came in two colors, a white and blue one, and a black and orange one like this. Early models came with Kaiwa's original clone switches, and I happen to have the yellows in mine. Now, speaking of the switches, these are the more interesting ones in the original lineup as they aren't direct clones of any Cherry MX switch. This switch in particular slips in between the Kale Red and the Kale Black in terms of weighting, similar to the Gatron Yellow in today's world. However, only a few years after its release, Kaiwa decided to discontinue the production of this switch, making it quite rare in today's keyboards. And nowadays, you really have to dig deep to find one of these, but they do still exist in select places for a good price. I got mine on eBay for £17, but your mileage may vary. Alright, let's move on to the keyboard categories. Firstly, it weighs just under 1kg, which is very good for a budget TKL keyboard made of cheap plastic. There was also very little flex, and more importantly, it didn't creak once in my keyboard bend test. So in this regard, it's built quite well. For the downsides, the cable is not braided, and the keycaps are pad printed, which is one of the cheapest keycap printing methods but the keyboard uses a standard layout so you can replace the keycaps when you want to. Overall, 6 out of 10. The feature set is limited since it's a budget keyboard, but it does come with a few interesting things. It has dedicated volume controls, a Windows lock key, and a mode key, which I'll get into in a bit. So in total, the keyboard has 92 keys instead of the more traditional 87 for a TKL keyboard. So, for the mode key, apparently this is so you can program the keyboard. However, this feature didn't work for me since you need to install their software. And this is the part where it gets a bit weird. So, in the manual, they provide you a link where you can install the software. But this link is broken, so I decided to look for it online and there I found the download link for the software. I then downloaded it and went through the installation process. After that, I was prompted to restart my PC, quite strange for a keyboard software. Then I was met with this screen, upon restart, yes. So suffice to say, I didn't use the software or bloatware, whichever you want to call it. Still, for the feature set, it gets a 5 out of 10. So day-to-day -day use with this keyboard sucks ass. So you know how I mentioned Kale Reds having and waiting inconsistencies in the previous video? Well, this also has it. And it's even worse, I think 5 times as worse. Thing is, this could have been such a good keyboard if it had decent switches, but they're almost unusable, especially for typing. And this is why Kaiwa decided to discontinue the switch, probably. And if that's the case, well, that's a good move in my opinion. 4 out of 10. Oh, and also, this only has 2 key rollover, not N key rollover, so for a gaming keyboard, it's quite disappointing. In terms of reliability, it seems okay. It's lasted this long as the keyboard is decently built. I'm more concerned about the cable fraying if you're the type of person to carry around a keyboard. Also, the legends may start to fade out, but at least you can easily change these keycaps, assuming they are compatible with Costa Stabs, that is. So not bad, 5 out of 10. For value, £25 or less is acceptable, but I would not pay more than that. And if you are, you're better off spending a few extra pounds on a used Razer Black Widow or a Corsair K70. This isn't really worth buying, but there are some really cheap deals for these out there if you look hard enough. 5 out of 10. Now, moving on to the Switch categories. On-center key presses are surprisingly smooth for the most part, but off-center key presses are scratchy and bind very often, especially on modifier keys. It's not a nice feeling. 3 out of 10. The weighting is medium stiff, offering the exact same actuation distance and total travel as the rest of the original linear switches, but the actuation force is at 50 grams according to Rapu. 
This sounds pretty good until you start using the damn thing. This switch has very inconsistent weightings to them, and it feels like Kaiwa put different weighted springs for each key and made them all bind. It's horrible. 3 out of 10. Sound is okay, it's one of the stronger aspects of the switch, but you can still hear how inconsistent the switch is because of the weighting issue. So yes, not only can you feel how bad they are, but you can also hear them as well. 4 out of 10. Now for the typing demo. Enjoy. Alright, at this point I feel like I don't have much to say that hasn't already been said. Like mentioned, this gives you a poor typing experience due to the weighting characteristics, and I really do feel like a standard rubber dome keyboard is a better option here. 3 out of 10. For a mechanical gaming keyboard, it's a failure, in the performance department anyway, even at a budget price point. It doesn't really offer gamers any advantage over someone using a rubber dome. Plus, you're in constant battle with dealing with the weighting and binding issues. It's terrible. It feels like this keyboard was designed to throw you off your game, so why even bother with it? Honestly man, just use a rubber dome. 4 out of 10. So in conclusion, it's a keyboard with a terrible switch. That's unsurprising, but it probably taught Kaiwa to design better switches. And the keyboard itself is fine, for the most part. It's nothing noteworthy. The final score for the keyboard is 25 out of 50 or 50%, 50 right in the middle. The final score for the Switch is 17 out of 50 or 34%, making it the worst Switch I've reviewed. And yes, I've said that so many times over the past few months, I hope that changes soon. And if you're still thinking of buying this, ah man, I hope you don't have to pay too much for it. Anyway, next time I'll be reviewing another linear switch, but somewhat of a decent one I think. Until then, take care and goodbye.